Hey, some people think Chronicles is boring, and there are parts of it, but there are many parts that are interesting when you study Scripture with Scripture. And today, First Chronicles 3, and we've looked at all the way to Abraham. We looked at Abraham's children. We set forth chapter 2 on Jacob and Judah, which is the line of Jesus Christ. Now we're picking up chapter 3, David, which is a line of Jesus Christ. Now these were the sons of David. David is a type of Christ. I'll be telling you as we go through to Mark, this chapter. That which was born in Hebron. Now David reigned in two places in his 33 years. He reigned in Hebron, and we'll come up to it, uh, how many years. While that is doing, Ishpanish is reigning under the house of Saul. Ishpanith is, dies, and then David's taken to Jerusalem where he lives out the rest of his reign. So while in Hebron, this is born, these are the sons that are in Hebron, the firstborn, Amen, of Ahinam, the mother, the Jezreites. The second, Daniel, and we're going to come back to these names again, of Abigail, the Carmelites, the third, Absalom, the son of Makkah, the daughter of Talmud, the king of Gershir, the fourth, Abijah, the son of Haggad, the fifth, Shephatiah of Abatai, when it says Abatai of the name, that's the woman's name, that's the wife of David, the sixth, Ethram, by Eglah, his wife. That's funny how that one says his wife. Abigail was his wife. These six were born unto him in Hebron. And there he reigned seven years and six months. And in Jerusalem he reigned thirty and three years. Now we're going to look at the ones born in Jerusalem. Verse 5. And these were born unto him in Jerusalem. Shimea and Shobab. And Nathan, look at that, he named the man after the prophet. And Solomon, Solomon was born in Jerusalem. Four of Bathsheba, Bathsheba it's just a different stone in the name, but that's Bathsheba, the daughter of Emil. Ibhar also, Ishma and Iphelech, and Naga, and Nephin, and Jephiah, and Ishlema, and Elada, and Ephelech, nine. These were all the sons of David, besides the sons of the concubines. <laughs> and it's pretty much no difference between the sons of uh, the concubines and the, and the wives. Matter of fact, Chronicles says uh, the concubine of Abraham, Ketra. But when you go back to Genesis, it says his wife, Ketra. So it's... These were all the sons of David besides the sons of the concubines and Tamar, their sister. Okay, we're going to stop there because we're going to get to the next section. That may be two nights. But we're looking at the line. Here's David and his personal family. Now, as we go through this list, let's check out 2 Samuel 12, 5. we got to read this. This is important. This will undull... Chronicles. In 2 Samuel chapter 12, my Bible stopped sticking, verse 5 and 6. This is after the Bathsheba incident. This is where Nathan comes up to David. And David's anger was greatly kindled against the man. And he said to Nathan, As the Lord liveth, the man that has done this thing, shall surely die. And he's talking about stealing Bathsheba. Well, here's this man. He's poor. He's got this little lamb. It's Uriah and Bathsheba. And he shall restore the lamb fourfold. That comes out of the Bible. David knew his Bible, Exodus 22, 1. Because he has done this thing and because he had no pity. Well, David, you opened up your mouth a little too quick there. Now, let's look at chapter 3 again. 
I don't know how you want to mark your Bible with this, but here are those four lambs that David told Nathan they got to die. Number one is the firstborn, Amon. Amon was the one that raped his, his sister, stepsister. And he's killed by Absalom, her brother. Amnon. Amnon, that's the first one, the firstborn. That's in verse number one. The number two of that list is verse two, is Absalom. He hangs in the tree, but he dies by Joab, by the darts. Though the king ordered, said, no, don't you do no harm to Absalom. And Joab, now remember, remember what we learned last night, Joab, and you got, uh, you got Joab, his, his brothers, and you had Amasa, who is his sister's son, Joab is his sister, other sister's son, and they killed each other. Absalom is, I mean, not Absalom, Joab is the son of Zariah, that's David's sister. So Absalom would be uncle to Absalom, who Joab kills. Look how many men Joab is killing in the family. You didn't know that when we went from 1st, 2nd team and 1st, 2nd Kings. But when you look at 2nd Chronicles and, I mean, 1st Chronicles 2 and 1st Chronicles 3, and you put it all together, like, this was a family thing. So don't ever tell anybody, hey, live like the family of Jesse. <laughs> no, don't, please, don't. Now the next one in verse 2, it says the fourth Adonijah. Now, if you remember him in 1 Kings 1, he comes up, David's sick. He's old. He has this woman to come up, keep him heat because he's just so old. He goes off with Joab. And he has his grand buffet. And he says, I am now king while my father stood. Didn't ask David's permission. He left out Bathsheba. He left out uh, Solomon. He left out Nathan. And then later on, Solomon says, well, I'm not going to kill you, but if, if, if you will present your life good, okay, you're alive. And he comes up to Bathsheba and says, you know, can you go to your son? Because Jesus is not good enough. Jesus is mean and rotten. But if, Mary, if you go through your son, can I have this wife that was ministering to David for heat, not sex? And upon getting her as his wife, he would have the authority to assert the, the, the kingdom again. So he dies. As Amon, Absalom, and Ananijah. There's a three sons, but there's four. Now, I'm going to speculate. I am not laying no sound ground here, but there's a possibility that that fourth one could be in verse 5. We'll look at it. Verse 5. And these were born unto him in Jerusalem. Shema, Shobab, Nathan, and we know it's definitely not Solomon. So we need to go to 2 Samuel 12, 13. Second Samuel. Sorry about that. Have you heard that? That's my computer yelling at me. Second Samuel twelve thirteen. Okay. Second Samuel twelve thirteen. And David said to Nathan, it's the same story. I have sinned against the Lord. Now this is not the Nathan the son, this is the prophet. David names one of his sons after this prophet. I have sinned against the Lord. And Nathan said to David, the Lord also has put away thy sin. Thou shalt not die. Now, I'm speculating, throw this in the garbage because I don't know. Nathan has been a big man in his life right now. Howbeit, because this deed thou hast given great occasion to the enemies of the Lord to blaspheme, the child also that is born unto thee shall surely die. And Nathan departed, his, Nathan departed, the Lord struck the child that Uriah's wife bared unto David, and was very sick. 
In verse 18, and it came to pass on the seventh day. Now, we're not told this child is a man, a male child or a female. Okay? If it was a male child, and it came to pass on the seventh day that the child died, it would have been named and circumcised on the eighth day. Jesus was eight days year old. They took him to the temple. They circumcised, and they called his name Jesus. Now, this is speculation. That if it was a male child, it may not have never been named. It was surely not circumcised. But if they gave it a name, in verse 5 of 1 Chronicles 3, I am speculating that that fourth child may be Shimeiah, Shobad, or Nathan, if that child was named. And it can't be. It wouldn't be a daughter because we're looking at the sons. It wouldn't be Nathan. Yeah, like, because Mary comes from the line of Nathan. Yeah. So yeah, that's. Look at that. Yeah, let's go. That, that's another one. That Luke chapter three. You can see that one. Luke chapter three. See, you need a wife. Help me. Luke chapter three. So it's not Nathan. <laughs> Luke chapter 3. And I got to find this in the list here. David, David, 31. David. All right, so we're going to read backwards. We're going to start in verse 32. Luke 3, 32. It's hard to read. It. I wanted to read it backwards, but Luke 3 which was the son of Jesse, which was the son of Obed, which was the son of Boaz, which was the son of Solomon. All right, that's the book of Ruth. That was last night's Chronicles. Today, verse 31, which was the son of Malia, which is the son of Mena, which is the son of Matthiah, which is the son of Nathan. So Nathan had Matthiah, which was the son of David. So that's not, that, that's not, that was not Nathan that that child died. And this is the split between Mary and Joseph's. This is a very important point that I miss. This is a split between Mary and Joseph's family line of Jesus Christ. Mary goes through Nathan. Jesus Christ goes and uh, Joseph, the adopted father of Jesus, goes through Joseph. I take that back. I messed myself up. Where was I? Joseph goes through okay. Solomon. So. Here's that Nathan in Luke chapter 3. In 1 Chronicles 3, that Nathan there, verse 5, that's the line of Mary. And then it says Solomon, that's the line of Joseph, which is the line of Jesus by adoption. So with that case, it could be Shemaiah or Shobab. But again, the baby died the seventh day. It would not have been circumcised, and it would not have been probably named, so... That's something to think about. That's a little something. Um, and it can't be the birth order because it says the baby died, then she had Solomon. But then again, Nathan as a son ain't listed in 2 Samuel. So there's things that God wants us to know. There are things that God doesn't want us to know. And yet with scripture, scripture like the birthday of Jesus. We can almost pinpoint it with scripture, but can't say 100%. So verse 5 was, there's the sons of Bathsheba. Uh, now, verse 1, Abigail, that's the wife of Nabal, the wicked, vile man that David said, hey, listen, we've been camping out with your, with your shepherds. We've been taking care. We played chess. We, you know, we talked. We protected you. Can we have a little food for my army? I'm on the run of, of Saul. Ah, who is David? Blah, 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 blah. This is my food. And he gets a drunken stupor. And then in his drunken stupor, the next day, he, he's having a hangover. Abigail steps up and says, I gave David food. The guy has some kind of culinary, probably a stroke. And then a few days later, God kills him. And he has a, and she has a baby called Daniel. Now, 2 Samuel 3.3. 3. 2 Samuel 3.3. 3. Scripture with scripture. 
And we'll start in verse 2. Here's the, first, here's the same list. Now what we're going to read in 2 Samuel 3, 2 that we found in 1 Chronicles 3. So 2 Samuel 3, 2. Must be important. It's in there twice. It's in there three times. You know how many times the birthday of Jesus is mentioned? I mean the actual birthday of Jesus. Once. You know how many times he's dying on the cross and, and is mentioned? Many, 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 many times. The resurrection of Jesus. Many, many, many. Matter of fact, Paul said it wasn't for the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Eat, drink, be merry. And we're, all, we're all going to die and go to hell. But look at David's family. Why? Because it's Jesus. And unto David were born sons in Hebron. First born was Amon of Ahena, the Jesuitess. The second, Chilia of Abigail, the wife of Nabal the Carm. Uh-oh. It says over here, Daniel. You mean someone who can't have two names? There'll be people who are called John. They'll say, call me Jack. My wife, unexpectedly, has two names. Her name is spelt twice, two different ways, but by the authorities of the government and by her family. She has a knee, and she don't have a knee. It's the same thing. So there would be Daniel in 2 Samuel 3. There's another thing of First Chronicles 3, and it's going through. Uh, anything else here? Anything? Okay, last one. Verse 9, and these were the sons of David, besides the sons of the concubine, and Tamar, their sister. Okay. 2 Samuel 14. 2 Samuel 14. Verse, excuse me, boy, rotten handling. 2 Samuel 14. Twenty-seven, thirty-seven. Can't be thirty-seven. Twenty-seven. 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 Second Samuel fourteen, twenty-seven. And unto Absalom there were born three sons and one daughter whose name was Tamar. She was a woman of a fair countenance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a problem. It says in First Chronicles that Tamar is their sister. David has a daughter named Tamar, and she has a granddaughter named Tamar, and yet that's a problem. <laughs> Evidently, Absalom liked the name Tamar so much, he had a baby girl, he says, Tamar. What's so hard about that? I mean, they do do it for, they do name daughters after their mothers. You know, that does happen. So... Great, interesting story, study coming up, Lord willing, next time. But that's what we get from David's family tonight.